When you receive your new Podura culture, keep in mind they take different care requirements than most springtails. Here's how we set that up. I love a blue bunny ice cream container for cultures, particularly Podura. We have to build a swamp for Podura. This is going to give us the depth that we need and the surface area. We are going to take some already sterilized cocoa here. I boil it in the microwave. Get a couple of handfuls in there and pack it in a little bit. Helps keep it tame while we finish building this. We're going to take some lava rocks here and use them to build a little bit of a wall. The lava rock wall separates the cocoa from the water area. If you don't use that, I find that over time the cocoa just settles down into the water and you don't have a land mass. Next thing we're going to do is add some water. How much water? Well, you need enough that all of your lava rocks are either touching the water or wet cocoa. Otherwise that rock will dry out, it will not wick water up properly, and they will be unable to use that space. So there, we have our culture all set up. Now we're going to take our poduras and sprinkle some right over the top there. And it's just fine that it falls onto the rock some. We feed active baker's yeast. I use Red Star because you can get it cheap through Costco. Just going to put a little pinch of active baker's yeast in there. That's it. We put the top on. We're culturing Podura.